everybody. Welcome to Kennywood. It's a nice sunny, but of course cold Wednesday here at the park. Standing behind the lagoon, which is officially part of the Steel Curtain construction site. And as you can see, there has been a lot of work going on here. We have supports installed in the lagoon right here. A good nine of them and a few more behind the swinery building over towards the lagoon bridge we're going to walk over there in just a little bit but we wanted to show you one of our first facebook lives from the construction site since we got started early in november uh, this is exciting stuff of course you don't need me to tell you that we're still tracking nicely for that 2019 opening but uh the weather still you know still mostly good you can see these conditions right now even though it's cold these are very good conditions for getting the work done that we need to get done and shaping up nicely for holiday lights as well this weekend. We want to talk about holiday lights too. Of course, that is a big thing. There's not much time left to get down here. Only one weekend before Christmas. You knew that. Hopefully you got your shopping done. But make sure you get a trip into holiday lights too. We have some great stuff going on this weekend, including some special discounts for senior citizens. We just posted an offer to our Facebook page for guests 55 and older. It's only $7 for tickets when you buy online for holiday nights. That's only for this weekend. We also have a four tickets for $40 offer for other people, uh, adults, children, those that don't qualify for the senior discount. And of course, those three and under are free every night. Parking is also free. So come on out to Holiday Lights this weekend and have fun with us. And other reasons to come out to Holiday Lights, besides of course, seeing the seal curtain uh, construction going on, like we talked about, uh, you can see, you get a great view of the curtain from the train. When you take the journey with Thomas ride, as you go along the back circle, you will get a really neat look at the construction as it's ongoing on the steel curtain. We're gonna go look over this way where there's some more activity, uh, not going on right now, crews are on lunch break, but getting ready for today and the rest of the week. And you'll see why this is work that we're gonna get done before holiday lights. Uh, reopens. Of course, you don't want to keep this big crane truck uh, in the middle of the park while Holiday Lights is going on, especially not uh, right next to our 100-foot Christmas tree here. Um, also happening this weekend, well, we'll get to that here in a second because what we wanted to show you, just to give you uh, an up-close idea of the size and scope of some of these bad boys, here's some more of the supports that will be going into the lagoon this week. I pull out my tape measure, but these are, I guess that going off of some of the other ones, these are 20 to 30 feet long pieces, um, which are weighing at several tons each. And they will be going in to the lagoon. Of course, that dive loop over the lagoon as you go out and back is, I know, one of the most anticipated parts of the ride as I hear from you guys. Uh, people are looking forward to, and we're looking forward to it as well. There you go. And it's all adding up to a really exciting uh, start. We're still early in the season of building the steel curtain, of course, as the Steelers season winds down. All righty. So we had that quick construction update out of Kennywood. Um, it was absolutely phenomenal to see it up close and personal again. Um, I can't wait for them to release even more footage up close to the track installation and all that but look at this awesome overhead shot of Steel Curtain. It looks absolutely phenomenal. Um, can't wait to see this thing um, completed because the colors are really growing on me, as you know. And this project is a lot wider or longer than I thought it would be, too. I did not expect it to stretch from that portion of the park to the other portion of the park. Again, I don't know the park too well because I'm a Canadian up here in the north. Um, but yeah, this is a very massive project and I was definitely blown away to see this. Um, anyways, hopefully you guys really enjoyed this quick construction update out of Kennywood, um, and this overview shot. I'll link Kennywood's Facebook down below and the news station's, uh, website down below as well. So you can go check out their helicopter shot that they took, um, and the footage that Kennywood uploaded. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Have a good one. Bye.